Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another educational episode of Mathematically Correct. Today we're bringing you Jax, courtesy of Deep League. Let's get into things. Dearest Ross, I failed you. <laughs> Mathematically Correct Warwick was not nearly as pog as I had hoped. It was half-baked idea too fueled by my desire to make no boots a reality. The barefoot bonker can work in certain scenarios, but extrapolating to Warwick was not the right one. It was far too much gold required to make the item set work, and by that point, your team would be too far behind. I have since revised and refined my search for truly mathematically correct builds. I have found a newfound emphasis on mid-game viability and surviving sticky situations, where that has brought me in as a place I once feared could be true when I started playing League of Legends, but was not possible until Season 11. Untouchable Jax. So let's get into things. Like the video, give me a comment for the algorithm, and we don't like to ask for subscriptions here. Instead, we compete for them in rock, paper, scissors, and if you lose, you have to subscribe to the channel. So here we go. Three, two, one. You just possibly lost to a pre-recorded video. So go on ahead and subscribe and enjoy the video. I'm sure most are familiar with Jax's E Counter-Strike. It provides evasion to all basic attacks and most sources of on-hit effects. Like Ezreal's Mystic Shot, it even comes with a sweet 25% reduction in AoE ability damage. This stance lasts for two seconds, followed by a one second stun. This stun will activate at the end, even if you're not able to do so yourself. 8 second coded on an ability that provides 2 seconds of evasion with 25% AoE damage reduction, followed by a 1 second uncancelable stun seems abusable. Typically, people view AP items as having the most, as having most of the major, major sources of ability haste, but that's actually not correct. You can reach absurd levels of ability haste while using items that fit Jax's kit especially well. If we're willing to shift our perspective from attack, uh, attack speed berserker to beefy bruiser, you'll find that Jax's scalings align along with giving us that much desired ability haste. His Q skills on 100% bonus AD, A skills 50%, and his passive gives us significant attack speed based on level rather than building attack speed ourselves. His ult further emphasizes this benefit to build tankier stats. Many of the AD items that include ability haste come with HP, which increases in value with from resistances. We can also activate the ulti for more frequent uh, more frequently from her increased ability haste. I mean, I like AP Jax, to be fair. I really like AP Jax. The build, Gore Drinker, Lucidity Boots, Essence Reaver, Black Cleaver, Guardian Angel, and then a choice of Mom Amartius, Force of Nature, Spirit Visage, or Zonya Zero Glass. Gore Drinker, fantastic. It provides us tons of ability haste and active to keep us in the fight. AD to increase her damage and her armor, and HP to make resistance more valuable. Also, Jax is some of the highest base move speed of the game at 350, meaning not only can you leap directly into the fray, but you can stick as well. Let's also not forget that Gore Drinker's cooldown is reduced by ability haste. 20 ability haste so far, 16%, 40. Essence Reaver gives us ability haste, makes the mana requirement sustainable. It feels similar to Pantheon. 65 is when a, a Black Cleaver gets picked up, has the perfect stats. Let's take a moment to appreciate that at max E level, you will now have E on a 4.1 second cooldown without considering runes. Guardian Angel is gross here. It's not the best stats, but it's evil, so it makes a list. <laughs> the last set is so broad for two reasons. One, I want to make a build that wasn't as item dependent as a Warwick one. Even if you just have the first two to three items in this build, it's still really valuable. Two, you also genuinely do have great options for any specific scenario. Jax doesn't have great magic resist, if, and none of our previous items included it, since you will be dodging so many alt attacks, it could be smart to get some maw comes with all the stats we could want. AD, ability haste, magic resistance, and even a shield. Force nature is amazing as well, and because of Jax's very high base, movement speed and Black Cleaver's movement speed, you will be zooming. Visage gives HP, MR, Ability Haste and Healing Amp for Conqueror and Gore Drinker. Zonya's is perfect for being cheeky. <laughs> there really are just too many good options, pick what works for the game. Rin's Conqueror, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Nullifying Orb, Transcendence, Attack Speed, Adaptive, Resistance, this only. Uh, summoners, Flash slash TP or Flash slash Barrier or Flash slash Exhaust if evil. Dorne's Bladed Shield, Lane, Top, Hotel, Travago. Conclusion, only including the first three items, you will have 105 ability haste, which equates to 51.2% CDR. That puts Q on a 2.9 second cooldown, E on 3.9 seconds, Gore Drinker on a 7.3 second cooldown, his ulti on a 39 second cooldown, and with full ability haste, Q uh, is 2.6, E is 3.4, 6.5 Gore Drinker, and a 34 second ultimate. Uh, mathematically correct set's weakness was Blade of the Rune King users. Mathematically correct Jax laughs in their face. Send it. So there's the premise. Let's give it a shot. Surprise! I'm back. Uh, if I've learned anything from Testo, it's like do not let Gangplank command the, te the tempo of the lane. If you let Gangplank control the tempo, 
uh, he will take you down. Yosh! All I'm saying is, I've played again. I've leaned against Testo as Gangplank many times. This guy does not scare me. <laughs> oh god, that took way longer than I wanted it to. Whatever. My PC went ah! <laughs> You see, my PC went ah! Oh, let me back, you dafty. <gasps> Let me back, you be dafty. Toasty! Less AoE damage. You know what? That actually stuck with me, Matt. That I take less damage from AoE with my E up. Might have actually just saved my freaking life, dude. I unironically learned something. <laughs> You're a jammy little. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't think the whip would have done enough. Oh, I might have actually 127. That absolutely probably would have killed him there. Oh, it sucks. I didn't have any wars to jump to, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, freaking heck, he ward jump, man. I didn't have any. Again, I got killed again because I have no vision wards. <laughs> ah! Yo, know, with the Carthus, I'd literally rather not even white ward it and just use it for a ward jump potentially down the line. That's the level I'm at. Oh my god, I didn't E! He's dead! I could have put it up! Why did I not E? I didn't realize it was on off cooldown, to be honest. <laughs> Day four in the big brother house. Krish, still not shown top lane. When I pass top, but can't. I don't give a f what you can or can't do, mate. We are blonks here. Very close. Oh, we got him. Oh my god, okay. Whatever, dude. Ah, Essence Weaver and then Black Cleaver. Super Minkus. <laughs> ah! So close to big stuff there. Oh, Kogma about to clean up here, dude. Okay. <laughs> they thought they had me. Bro, you're crazy, dude. Bro, I actually like this. Okay. For Carthus, man. Poor boy. <laughs> Is he tanky? Excuse me, what? 
Yo, why are you called got some beef on him, dude? <laughs> got some junk in a trunk? W the menu. Let's go! Oh, dude, I got like, ah, oh, that was so close to being like a five man stun there as well, dude. <laughs> that is such a good fight, though. I oh, love to see it, dude. Maybe? Actually, Lee Sin's kind of like pogging right now, and. Oh! Oh! Okay. Maybe pick up a bull here? I don't think either. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I only really like water when, like. Now, stop me if I'm being weird. But you know that feeling when, like, you've just. You're so parched and you're th so thirsty that, like, you you drink a big gulp of water and, like, you're like, it's like you're a water slut and you're just, it's all dribbling down your mouth and you're like, oh, God. And you're properly quenched, man. Oh, God, it's so good. That's the kind of, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's peak water consumption. When you feel like you're about to die of thirst, I guess. Don't kick me! I'll kick you! Oh damn. Oh come on, bro! They're so low! Man, enemy we send McGore Drinker and all this sh is so annoying. You know, if anybody's from the UK, like, uh, th does US have Capri Suns? Or Capri Suns? Whatever. I feel like they put, like, and I know this isn't true, this is allegedly, but man, I feel like they put, like, salt in them. I don't think I've ever quenched my thirst with a Capri Sun. I'll drink one and it'll be like the most flimsy, minuscule amount of liquid. And then I'll be like, oh, dude, I need another one. And I drink, and I'll, by the time you've, you're still thirsty after like four, and you're like, what is going on here? Capri Sun, you can drink it in a single mouthful. I, I know it's for kids, but like, I don't, even as a child, I'm like, you know, I feel, I, I, even as a kid, I was like, I don't feel like I'm getting less thirsty drinking this currently. Which doesn't seem like the way that, like, this is supposed to go. Tim! Help me! <laughs> well, we got the Lulu. All of you dogpiled a Lulu and you managed to get her. Fucking amazing, Jack, guys. Well in. 4v1 Alulu, great success on that one, dude. Oh, criminal. Absolute criminal. Pfft. You know what? Maybe I don't engage. Oh my lord. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, nobody does, like, any f damage, man. Or pot lane does do any damage. <laughs> LeBlanc's not scaling, and I, I don't know, I, I, I just get BTFO'd immediately, dude. Another one, dude. Let's go. Jeez. Try my best to get out of there. Okay, dude. <laughs> Jeez! I mean, like, I don't really see any other options. The faster we do this, like, the, the better chance we have. Although, we're gonna be hit with the uh, Gangplank Holy and also, um, Garthus Ultly, probably. Whew. Got to run away as well. Uh, Spike, kill me! <laughs> I'm, I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that I left. Probably Barrel in there. Oh my god, this cycle is so way, bro. I gotta run all the way around. Yes! Yeah, yes! Five seconds of dragon, who's still up? Kartus? He's dead. We sent again? Bro, you're kinda living in the danger zone right now. Push! Push, damn you! PUSH! Dude, this, like, honest, like, this is gonna sound weird, but, like, my cooldowns are too low. I'm sitting at, what, 56% cooldown, and, like, I have to smack my abilities way too much. 
I feel like I am seriously not able to click fast enough to be like, okay, 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 okay. I just saw his back accident, I don't care. You know what I mean? Did not think we were gonna win that game. Down to the Nexus! I gotta say, man, like there, there was times where that was like supremely dirty. Oh, the top damage of the team. Who damaged Kogma? What the hell? We met, we mitigated 47k. Uh, does, does the Counter Strike count towards mitigated damage? Considering we had like not really any defensive items beyond like Zonyas, I guess, which doesn't really mitigate damage. That's um incredibly solid. There was times where I leapt in and like, dude, honest to God, if I was playing anybody other than Jax, like that Kogma would have obliterated me, man. Mathematically correct Pantheon is top tier, then set and then like Warwick, but I'm gonna slip like mathematically correct Jax in between Warwick and set. I think this was like, not at the same level of supremeness as other things, but like, this is AD carry runer build. 